Sergio Giuliani. It's 4.12 p.m. October 3rd. So one thing. I'm Alexander Sergio Giuliani. One. One. Who in the right mind would allow these people to be putting these implantable devices in my brain knowing that I have key information about terrorism, RICO, economic espionage, implantation terrorism, and key information about this technology I'm a victim of? Who in the right mind would let these people continually use this tech on me, use it to impair memory? As well as you, if they aren't threats to humanity, they aren't a good people. And I had key information about terrorism and RICO. Who would allow these people to continually use this tech on my brain and my body? Key point. <clears throat> Anyone who wants to defend or protect humanity, who's a good guy, if you were doing science, he'd be like, never touch that kid's brain again. He's a key witness. One. Two. Like I was saying downstairs. Who the hell is letting people claiming to be programmed? People with psychiatric illness. Or liars and criminals and claiming to be programmed have access to satellite weapons, implantation weapons, neurophysiological weapons. That's another key point. Yeah, so who would do that? There are some key points I've made downstairs, but they're using their tech on me and doing some wiping. But those are some good points right there, too. So maybe someone needs to find out who's allowing these programmed people to have access to neurophysiological weapons, satellite weapons, human programming weapons, covert witness tampering tools, such as the devices that impair memory, reason, and logic. And uh, yeah, someone should get to the bottom of that because that sounds pretty dangerous. People with psychiatric illness, desperation, more than conflicts of interest having access to such sort of technology and weapons. Desperate people typically don't make good decisions. Key point. Nor mm. angry people. Nor people with pathological gambling habits. Nor people with psychiatric illness. So, someone needs to get the weapons out of these guys' hands and the technology, and they just, you know, if you have this, uh, what was it? What were they saying? They have a rapidly fluctuating program disease where they slip into and out of program states. Yeah, they, people like that should never have access to weapons or technology ever again. Because, you know, they're like, oh, we're not programmed. And then all of a sudden they start, you know, we're programmed. Yeah, that's not a good idea. It's a bad mix. I know this is not a movie. <clears throat> uh, and I'm not acting. I'm just just saying. Yeah, not a good idea to let people having this intermittent fluctuating program disorder where they flip, slip into and out of a program state have access to technology and weapons. Like WMDs, radiation dispersal devices. So, whoever knows who these people are not taking their technology and weapons away. You should ponder their agendas. They're probably not law enforcement agents, and they're probably not the sharpest tools in the shed, and they probably aren't freedom fighters or defenders of humanity. They sound like threats to humanity. That's a key point to ponder.